Hello everyone, it is Toby here and it is even colder in the garage gym today than it has been any of the other times I've said that in these videos. It is minus two degrees in the gym at the minute. That's not even outside, that's in the gym. It is absolutely freezing. So I've got the tiny radiator going. It is doing absolutely effing nothing. But we are in here and we're going to be hitting another strongman event session. That is right, today we're going to be doing some more strict log press, some more chain bench, a few more shoulder accessories, and then we're going to be heading outside into the cold to try and throw some sandbags and get my technique on sandbag throwing even better and more well practiced. It is very cold in here. I'm going to try my best to warm up, but it might be a hoodie session today. Uh, as much as I hate them, it might have to be, but... Yeah, the main thing is, is I really need to warm up my knee. I've got a new toy. I've got a Cerberus Strength, uh, like really hard elastic cuff to put around my knee and I see if by locking in the tendon with this cuff uh, prevents any sort of pain or discomfort in the knee. Um, because it is, it's just not going away. It's been a lot better than it has been. It is not uh, painful all the time anymore but certain exercises are still bothering it so I thought better be safe than sorry get myself a knee cuff because I can't really afford to take uh, a lot of time off with the competitions after Christmas um, so gonna try my best to work around it by doing some more strict press uh, with the log and stuff like that but seeing if this knee cuff does make any uh, a bit of a difference so today uh, will be basically the first sort of test run of that uh, as well as yeah some heavy log so before we jump into the heavy strict log press if you are enjoying these videos please be sure to leave a like and hit subscribe it helped me out massively and i try and do multiple videos a week surrounding my training especially leading up into these competitions coming up uh, so yeah if you are enjoying them do hit subscribe and leave a like and help these videos reach some more like-minded people but without further ado I'm going to jump into some heavy log press, 95 kilo for two sets of three strict, and then a set of 12 at 72 kilo to finish off. So those are the sets you're going to be seeing right now. <laughs> gave up on the hoodie after the very very first warm-up I just can't lift in them I hate lifting in hoodies I feel way too restricted way too hot and so we went for the tank top it's marginally warmer in here but I think that's just because I've warmed up uh, but those logs move fantastic yeah logs just moving better and better every single week we get back on it 95 kilo moved really solidly fantastically for strict press uh, triples there feeling super super solid can't wait to reintroduce the push press to my log pressing to start moving some really really heavy numbers up um, and yeah the set of 12 fantastic method for hammering in that form uh, of not jamming my head through every single rep keeping it deliberately back watching the log go up and then bringing it through uh, really really good for that really really good for regulating my breathing managing when I breathe on the log so I don't get out of position or anything uh, yeah just a really fantastic way of hammering in that form without having to use a massively heavy weight. So really, really happy with how all of that felt. The knee, if you're wondering, feels the best it ever has. That knee cuff was definitely a really, really good purchase. Uh, it kept everything locked in and solid. So usually on a log clean, when I'm in that deep squat position, exploding up is when I feel the knee the most. Uh, and I didn't feel it at all. It doesn't even feel tight. It feels 
completely normal like the other one and I've taken the knee cuff off now because it is very tight so it's not the most comfortable thing to wear but it definitely made a massive difference so I'm going to be wearing that on explosive movements like the log press uh, the squat and probably the deadlift as well um, just so yeah it keeps my knee locked in and stops it from uh, re-injuring every single session hopefully after four or so weeks of wearing the knee cuff uh, I might solve all my problems in my heel up fantastically and I might not have to wear it so yeah a really good purchase absolutely fantastic bit of kit that um, I might do a review on it and go into a bit more detail in a future video but definitely something I would recommend so that is our primary compound movement out of the way for the session, the log press, the one I really care about. And in a recent video, I spoke about why strong men like myself and even some of the pros still continue to train bench press so heavily for the carryover. And I think that is just proof in the pudding right there. The log's feeling fantastic. And that is because of that tricep power we have built through doing heavy bench press while I have not been able to do log press because of the knee issue. And what we're going to move on to next is a variation of the bench press. So we're going to be doing the chain bench press. Uh, if you don't know already, the chains add that level of instability uh, that you get from using unilateral work like dumbbells and stuff. Uh, but because I'm in a home gym, plate loaded dumbbells are an absolute pain, especially for a flat bench press. So I go for the chain bench press. It also has the added uh, difficulty to it of when you lower it to your chest, half of the chains on the floor. So as you're pressing, more and more of the chain lifts up and it gets progressively heavier and it is just a fantastic movement i absolutely love it it is my favorite variation of any movement i think chain bench press has always been absolutely fantastic it's a killer uh, and it doesn't feel any easier every time i do it but it really works and really helps build that grinding lockout strength that you need for heavy log press uh, once you explode it off your chest to grind that movement out because obviously the, cha uh, the chain, more and more of it coming off the floor as you lock out, it puts more of an emphasis on your tricep lockout at the top of the movement. So we are going to smash that out of the park right now, and I'm going to show you all three of my sets. <laughs> chain bench there it quickly fatigues your uh, tricep lockout strength I mean the last rep on that last set suddenly got very very difficult out of nowhere but it's a fantastic exercise really good for building that lockout strength and if you do have access to lifting chains uh, I would absolutely recommend it a very similar thing you can do uh, but not quite as unstable is do some reverse bands uh, so obviously that brings the tension off at the bottom and then you can allows you to explode up as the band uh, helps you from the bottom and um, yeah and then you get the full weight at the top it's another fantastic way of doing it and then for the instability just do some dumbbell work if you do go to a public gym but these are much more fun chains look cool they sound cool um, and they work they really do so what I've got now is I've got some accessories so I've got some lateral raises and rear delt dumbbell flies both exercises that any gym bro knows how to do um they're a staple of any shoulder day really so i'm just going to smash through them get them done back to back uh get my delts finished off and then we're going to head outside and we're going to lob some sandbags out in the cold so accessories done and as you can see it is proper chilly out here it is very very icy 
uh, but we got the sandbag throwing set up. I've got a hoodie on and we're going to get throwing. Aim today is to do better than last week, so try and get most of them over, try and be more consistent and just work on technique. I'm going to try and do, I don't know, we did about eight sets last week, we did about the same. And I'll just show you a montage of all my throws. It should be nice and quick, nice and snappy, and we'll see how many we can get over. Well, that was a bit better than last week. I mean, I was getting nearly every single one. Like, uh, the start was a little bit ropey, and then once I found my technique, I was getting three or four out of four every single set. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, one thing I consciously changed is making sure to follow through with my arms. Uh, the first couple of sets you saw, I sort of finished about there in the lift. I was like, uh, and it got to about there. Uh, and the ones I was really successful, I managed to keep my arms straight and finish nice and high which is obviously a massive difference with the sandbag but yeah it's one of those lifts that's not it's not really strength related it is obviously to be able to generate the power to lob 22 kilo but uh most of it is just practice 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 uh strong men obviously usually have the power to move 22 kilo quite fast it's just practicing the release point the throw uh, and getting it comfortable so it's one of those things that you can do in your sleep so 
more weeks of practice on that will definitely be super, super handy for me. Uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I almost forgot to mention how effing cold it is out there. I am properly freezing now. Um, but yeah, the knee's holding up really well. I used the cuff for the first couple throws to get it warm and then I just reduced it to the sleeves and it feels absolutely fine. It feels amazing. Uh, so that was definitely worth the buy. And yeah, that is where this session is going to end. Usually I would do another exercise on the end of on the end of this after the sandbag throwing like either some loading or some stones but as you saw out there it's not the ideal conditions to be running around with a sandbag and a keg it's very very slippy uh the gravel may look pretty stable i mean it's gravel so it's not by definition but it's very icy very slippy um yeah not ideal conditions for doing that so for the sake of protecting my knee and myself i'm not going to be doing some loading because it, it, all it takes is one slip uh, and my knee pops so we are going to leave it there and as for stones uh, stones aren't in my first competition they're in my second competition so i'm going to be doing them a lot more fewer and further between just keeping up the practice there rather than trying to get a massive amount of strength with them and in the cold getting tacky nice and warm and ready is a bit of a nightmare and i just can't be asked to tacky myself all up uh, and get it off again so i'm happy with today's session anyway i put a lot more emphasis on practicing the sandbag today and it really paid off. Did about eight sets. I think I showed you about six of them. So yeah, really pleased with that. Really, really, really happy with the log, especially as well. That's always feeling fantastic. Uh, I spoke to Loz, who's my coach today, about when we're going to be moving to push press. And it's hopefully soon. Now that we've got the knee cuff and I'm not feeling any pain while cleaning the log, uh, we can give push press an attempt pretty soon. So I've got another week or so of this block left. And perhaps in the next block, we will see the return of push press but who knows, we will see at the time. But that's where I'm gonna leave today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you've made it this far and you haven't considered hitting subscribe, please go ahead and do so. I try and upload as much of my training content to you guys as possible so you can see how I'm prepping for these comps, how I train as a very amateur level strong man with uh, a home gym in a garage, uh, with also some public gym training here and there. A lot of people can relate to what I do, so I think it's a really good and important thing to share. And of course, leave a like on this video. If you enjoyed this one, let me know down below which events you'd like to see me train. In these event sessions, I tend to give quite a few of them a go. Uh, and also let me know down below if there's any specific videos you want me to make covering any exercises, anything that I do, or just anything in general. Let me know. Usually I will make them because uh, I love it when you guys tell me what to make because then at least someone's pleased with the content I'm putting out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Toby and I will see you in the next video.